Hi guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to access your assignments on Knowledge Matters. I'm a potato and I did this because I thought it was funny and I wanted to say hi, but uh, miss you all very much, but moving on to the assignment. So in Knowledge Matters, I'm gonna just go ahead and share my screen with you. Okay, you should log into Knowledge Matters. I've created a second account so you can see it from a student standpoint. Um, if you have not yet logged in, you would go to register now, register yourself with your school email address, and hopefully your ID is your password, or your normal password on a computer. I can reset your password if you get locked out. Um, log into it, and you should use the course code. The course code for your class is the fashion class, which is the H-E-8-T-S-5. Once you get through the registration process, your screen should look like this. You, although you will not have a second course listed here, you will only have um, one. You will need to click the course name. Once you click the course name, you're going to be brought up to this screen. If this is the first time you're logging in, your screen will look different than mine. You will have to go through the tutorial, go through it, and follow each step, next, next, next. I recommend that you do that. Um, it will show you the most important steps. Um, then you can go through and view your references just to help you understand your math that's going to be used in this assessment. You'll go through and um, starting with trend research. Now this is your first assignment. This was last week's assignment. You need to do the reading and um, then take the reading quiz and then take a math quiz and then you'll be able to access the simulation. As you can see here, I had a 40 and a 50 on the quizzes. I was rushing through them so that I could get through the run through the simulation. Now for the first week, I'm not gonna hold the reading and math quizzes against you. I want you to try your best, but I want you to be able to get to the simulation because right here when I click run simulation, this is your grade. Now I'm gonna go through and do lesson one with you. So we are going to run simulation. As it's loading, you're going to see the screen change. The very first thing you need to do is over here where it says step one of nine, you need to read everything here. Spotting the host trends early. It's key to success of any fashion business. In this lesson, you will try to spot emerging trends. In the earliest source of the information available to you are posts of runway photographers from some of the major fashion shows. You can start to see these about six months prior to the start of the fashion season. Now in real life, fashion planning starts even earlier than six months, but six months is more practical for educational purposes. Let's take a look at what's showing on the runway. Well, how do you do that? Well, once you've read all of step ones, all you have to do is click next. Now you're going to follow the steps step by step. It says click reports and run runway. So I go to reports and I see the word runway, I click it. It says in this sim, this is a photo sharing social media site that allows people to post. Right now there's only one post of this fashion show. To see more posts, you'll have to click the run to button. You're gonna choose April 13th. Now let's run the simulation and see what several posts appear. Notice the hashtags indicate these are the trends predicted for the upcoming fall and winter season. The number of likes is an indicator of how your potential customers are responding to the trends. So right here, if you look, you only have one post. If you want to see more posts, it said that we needed to run to. Now this is part of the simulation you will have to get used to. Click run to. You're going to click the date, April 13th. And all I'm going to do is let that happen. A clock's going to pop up on the back of my screen while trends are popping in. We're at one of eight, 10, 11, 12, and it just keeps going. If you look on the left side of your screen where the date and the clock is, you'll see what date it is. It's April 8th, uh, moving into April 9th, and you're going all the way to April 13th. Now you have to run through this at this pace. You do not have an option to change speed. All right, now let's ask or look for the question. How many likes does Gerard have on his post? Well, if you look at the post right over here, he is now one of 40 posts. You see right here that he has 1,045 likes. So that's the correct answer. You may move on to step three. You can use the newer and older buttons at the bottom to look through past posts. Go ahead and browse some of the posts. Based on this post from the runway show, which of the following t-shirts looks like it's going to be a trend in men's t-shirts? Well, let's look. Cool, relaxed men's t-shirt, okay. 
This is a women's t-shirt, women's t-shirt, women's t-shirt, another men's. Um, this is just a t-shirt, doesn't have anything. Another relaxed men's t-shirt. Um, cool bean, let's see. Check out these jeans, nervous, okay. And another relaxed dress shirt. Well, based off of the four posts that I just reviewed, I'm gonna go with relaxed fit. Relaxed fit is correct. Now, if you went through and clicked long sleeves because you noticed that long sleeves are there, you have to look for the words that are actually coming up in the post. Moving on to step four. Spotting trends on the runway is good for getting an early look at what's coming fashions. As you get closer to the seasons, you can start to look at posts of the streets, fashion and fashion bloggers. These can give you an even more accurate read on the popular. You'll start to see them three months before the season begins. Now let's take a look. So in order to do that, you're going to have to go to reports and run street. Well, I'm gonna close down runway, go to reports, and I'm gonna click the word street. Now that I've done that, it wants me to actually run the date to April 27th. Now it's very easy to do that. Go to run to April 27th. And again, the clock's gonna go in the background. This time, what color looks popular for women's dresses? Well, look at the dresses. There's a gray one. There's another gray one. It looks like gray is the popular one. But if you go through and you actually read the post, the color is not gray. It is actually known as sea foam, which was very unique. But this is all comes from you paying attention to the actual post. Now, we're still on April 23rd, 22nd, 24th. And we should be done. Now let's go back older, older until we find there's a, there's a dress. So the shift dress, mixy length and sea foam. Sea foam is the color. We're gonna click that and that's the correct answer. Moving on to step five of nine. You could take this information about trends and start designing or buying garments. However, this Sims contains a trend report to help make sure that your trends are spotting is spot on. In this lesson, you're going to complete the trend report yourself to get comfortable with the research is correct. In some other lessons that don't focus on trend spotting, you'll, the report will automatically fill for you. Right now, we're going to work on trend research. You're going to run to reports, go ahead and close this window, and you're going to trend report. What trend reference is on the first page? Well, what's the first thing you see? Do you see fabrics or hem lengths? The correct answer is color right here in the very top of the screen. So color is the correct answer. Moving on to step six. Now read the box labeled trend one. Under hot and women's colors for the color, choose sea foam. Trend one, so I'm gonna click the box and I'm gonna look for sea foam. Sea foam is that gray color. After analyzing the data for a moment on the trend bar, the bottom of the thing will fill a percentage based on how closely your section matches the trend. This is how you can choose to identify hot trends correctly. This bar appears in the each category. So right here on the trend, you can see right here that it's not 100%, it's not 50%, I'd say it's about one fourth. What are the differences in design elements that are stacked? Now it's told you to scroll down to men's design shirts. So we're in color, we need to scroll down. So grabbing this little bar, I'm gonna go down. Women's dresses, women's t-shirts, women's jeans, men's, dress shirts. Now here we are. What are the different design elements that are tracked for the men's design shirts? Well, they're listed right here. Fit, collar, sleeves, pocket, and fabric. That is the last option that is correct. Now, those of you that are following along, do not jump ahead and just fill in the answers based off of what my responses are. If you don't run the simulation the way it's asking you to, you will not pass it. Um, okay, moving on. Step seven. So know that the same color trends for men's and women apply to all garments except for jeans, which have their own color trend. Let's try identifying a trend for men's shirts. Click reports and go to street. So now we're gonna go back to the street and it wants us to browse through men's shirts. It looks like a long sleeves are in fall, which makes sense. On the trend reports under sleeves, select long sleeves. So right here, for sleeves, I'm clicking long sleeves. Now, now that I've actually gone through and clicked the one thing, I'm waiting to see how much it trend. Now, am I 
on trend at all? Am I 100%? Am I not at all? I'm going to go up to one fourth because we're not fully there, but we're still on track. Now, step eight of nine. Based on your browsing, it seems that the relaxed shirts will, with spread collars, no pockets, and stretch cotton um, spandex are popular. Go ahead and select the above trend reports in the dress. So, very first thing is I click trend one, which he told me was relaxed. Now I go to collar. He says it's a spread collar, so I click spread collar. We already know it's a long sleeve and it has no pockets. The fabric is cotton and spandex. Now that it's running the reports, it wants to know how close to um, trend am I? Am I 0%, 1 fourth, or all the way to 100? Once the trend report is analyzed, it says we are 100% on trend. Now it's a little gray bar that comes across. You saw how it looked when it was 1 fourth, now you're seeing it at 100%. The next step is the final step for this assignment. This is trend research. Now that's how it's done. Your goal is to get a 100% trend score for women's dresses in fall, winter 2020. You'll get to this later lessons, but you will be able to use this technique to confirm you understand trends before designing a lot of clothing. At this time, you can double click your progress by clicking on working on goal below. So. Right now, working on goals says we have 80 out of 80 points, zero out of 20. We must complete our goal in order to complete this assignment. So let's scroll up to women's dresses, men's shirts, women's jeans, women's t-shirts, women's dresses. Now, we don't know what the trend is for women's dresses. We need to go through the app under street since we already have it pulled up and look for it. Here is a women's dress. It says it's a shift dress. It's maxi length, it colored in sea foam with a crew neck and a medium sleeves. It's also made out of China silk. Let's see if we can get all of those items into this and see if we are on trend. So the first thing was the fit. Um, shift was one of the words used to describe fit. Second word was neckline. It says this was a crew neck. The sleeves, if you look here, it says here that the dress was medium sleeves the hemline is a maxi and the fabric was china silk now let's watch the simulation as it's analyzing it's going to tell us whether or not we made our goal congratulations you have completed your goal once you have done that it's going to pop up with your goal complete you have met all your goal your assignment has been saved to review your work you may review the sim or you may close. Once you've closed this, you have completed your assignment and will have a score. All right, guys, I went through and showed you what I was expecting for you to do for your own assignment. I did week one with you. I asked that you do week two um, and get caught up. Have a great day, guys.